following developing news out of Goose Creek this afternoon where several people say they heard loud explosions last night and early this morning. News 2's Berkeley County reporter Raymond Owens reached out to authorities to find out what was behind the mysterious noises. There were at least two explosions, one last night and one this morning here at the weapons stations, but officials are telling me this was not part of training. It was actually a response to a real world incident. Well, I actually did just got home from work and was watching TV and it felt like a sonic boom, uh, but I could feel it in the floor, like the floor vibrated, the windows rattled. And I contacted Joint Base Charleston's Public Affairs Office. They told me they had no training over the past day or so at the weapons station regarding explosions, but they said there were explosions last night and today in response to a real world incident. They wouldn't give me details other than to say law enforcement had released some information about what they were exploding. North Charleston police did release information to us about a suspicious package in North Charleston yesterday. That happened at around 1230 Thursday afternoon at Bryhawk Circle near Cross County Road. Joint Base Charleston officials did tell me whatever was exploded was transported to the weapons station where it was later detonated. That actually frustrates me a little bit because if you had time to bring it to the weapon station to dispose of it, could you not have let the local media news outlets aware of that so they could put out the information so residents that like me living here don't have to go, what the heck was that? Again, the base will not confirm any additional details about the explosions, but that probably was what you heard either last night or this morning. In Goose Creek, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.